Hey guys, in the past three weeks, hundreds of archaeologists have been quietly visiting an Indian temple after they realized that this temple is made of moving parts like parts of a machine. This information is groundbreaking because it changes everything we know about ancient Hindu temples. This temple is found in the heart of an ancient Indian city. What city is that? Bangalore. Today, most people know Bangalore as a very modern high-tech city, but Bangalore also has a very long history and is hiding some very advanced ancient technology. As you can see, this temple is located in a crowded area, and at first sight, you can see the fresh paint on the tower. When you go inside, you can see the polished tiles on the floor, and the walls are also painted recently. But these are routine renovations. Until last month, archaeologists thought that this was a medieval temple built roughly 550 years ago. But now, the Archaeology Department of India has scanned every stone and has doubled the temple's age. Now, archaeologists say it was built 1,263 years ago, and some experts are claiming it's even older than that. But what made archaeologists examine this ordinary-looking temple in the heart of a big city? You may have noticed that in spite of the new tiles and freshly painted walls, the granite pillars look quite different. It's because they are very ancient. Not only that, every pillar is made of five different stone blocks, and these tire-like blocks are individually rotatable. As you can see, this stone block can be rotated like a tire in an axle of a car. And these blocks are at least 1,263 years old. But perhaps this is just an assembling error, right? How can I say all the pillars were designed like this with rotating stones? Look carefully. You can see the dark areas. This is modern-day concrete patched recently to stop these blocks from rotating. You can see that this is applied on all the pillars, all except one to prevent people from rotating all the blocks. But why? Why did they have to alter the original ancient design? Watch. How is it So, long story short, recently when people started to realize these blocks are rotatable, a lot of people started coming in and started spinning these blocks. So much so that the authorities worried that this temple might collapse because of it. So they applied concrete on everything except this one pillar. But the real question is, why? Why would ancient builders make these blocks rotatable? I mean, this is solid granite rock. To make it rotate is not that easy. Even today, this is pretty hard. In the U.S., there was a man by the name of Edward Leeds Callen who single-handedly built a castle called Coral Castle, and he was able to make rock doors that could spin. But these rock doors stopped rotating after just a few decades, and even the top engineers could not make them spin after that. 
So how could the so-called primitive builders from ancient times build an entire temple full of these stone tires which could all be rotated? And how are these blocks still rotating even after 1,200 years? Now, let's go back to the why. Why were they made rotatable? Simply because they could make them spin? I mean, today, why do we make tires in a car rotatable? Simply because we can? Or is it because it has an important purpose? I mean, the whole idea why we build an axle and the rotatable tires is because it has the actual purpose of moving the car, right? But we can see that these pieces are not connected by a single pillar. So what mechanism needs them to be individually rotatable without being connected to one another in a single axis? A combination lock system like the number locks on a briefcase. Is it possible that these rock tires can be set in a certain combination to make a secret chamber open? I mean, what else could it be? Why else would they make such a complex rotating mechanism? Imagine we go to a remote island like Sentinelese Island and we give them a suitcase with an inbuilt combination lock. The tribe will just play with it, just spin the tires. But unless they get very, very lucky, nothing opens. A child will keep on spinning the number lock on a suitcase for fun and will think it's just a toy because it does not understand that it's a combination which opens a box. Are we doing the same thing? Are we thinking this is just a meaningless rotatable thing, even though we know deep down that making such a complex feat would have had a real purpose behind it? When I observed closely, I even found a broken area where we can see the cross section, how the tire is linked to the axis inside. I think that everything you see is just a shell and the real axis is an actual thin cylindrical pillar inside the stone box. Are all the pillars connected at the bottom is a complex mechanism hidden underneath these tiles. But what will the right combination unlock? Perhaps the clue about what it can open is hidden in the name of the temple itself. The name of this temple is Ranganatha Swami Temple. And in 2015, a secret underground chamber was discovered in another temple, also called Ranganatha Swami Temple. This temple is about 200 miles from Bangalore. Yes, what you're seeing is the actual footage of the underground chamber in this temple. And it's said that a Vimana, an ancient flying machine, was found in this underground chamber. It's very strange because in this temple, there are symbols pointing down as though the ancient builders are telling us to dig below the doors. And that's exactly where they found the underground chamber. In Bangalore Temple, you can see this carving. Here's a man pointing his finger up directly towards the tire, as though he's asking us to rotate it. Is it possible that another ancient Vimana is buried somewhere in the temple premises underground? Is there a secret door that will open if we rotate the tires on all these pillars in the right combination. Why else would these stone blocks be designed for rotation? What will the right combination open? What is hidden underneath this temple? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please share this video with your friends. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.